we have a new upgrade. Uh, and of course, since we haven't had a new upgrade in the past couple of weeks, I had a feeling they had something that they thought was big to roll out. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, if you saw your messenger and you saw the system notification, there's a new action tag. So um, you can read a little bit about that, but honestly, I would, uh, I think it's, I think it's a better idea to run out to our website so that you can read everything about the new features that were installed and how they all work. I'm gonna try and demo them fairly quickly um, just to let you see some of the things that I found when I played around with it. So this first one is a new action tag. It's called at if, and I uh, created a very simple, what happened here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I created a simple addition. These, this is just our regular old uh, class um, project, and I just had a class this past week, so you know, it's just fresh. So we always have gender, you know, we create a field for gender. So I added a field below it called, are you currently pregnant? Yes or no. So if I look at the design of, are you pregnant? I can add some uh, action tags now that use if logic. So the first thing I wanna say is, this functions almost identically, if not identically, to branching logic. But, you know, at the very least, it's similar. They call it similar. So the, the thing that you can do is through using this, <clears throat> you can call a number of action tags. And it uses, if, if you've done if logic before, before it says, uh, if such and such is true, then do this. And if it's not true, do this. And you do that with the commas between them. So here I just have, if gender is male, then hide the pregnancy. Otherwise just set it to, to nothing, you know, don't show it. I mean, I show it, but you know, just nothing's in it. I'll tell you why I did that in a second. So if I save it and I look at my record status dashboard, I have a couple records here. If I look at myself, I'm listed as male. It doesn't ask me about whether or not I am pregnant. If I look at my other uh, record, Shauna, she is female and now it shows. Okay, so very similar to branching logic. So I just wanna explain, so I also put it in the consent form. Consent form, if you're female, then yes, it will show up. And if you are male in the consent form, it won't ask you to upload it. So I'm just trying to apply it different places. So that's if, however, what kind of issues might you see? So I'm gonna go back to my modify instrument and go to my screening form here. <clears throat> now, in the directions or instructions that uh, we have posted on our website, which come directly from Vanderbilt. Just thinking about that one uh, hide and show if statement, if they're female, then show it, or if it's male, then hide it. 
which is what I did, if mail, then hide it. And then one thing you can do is have multiple uh, action tags that will fire off after that. So all this is nice. But what if you don't want anything to happen? What if you just want it if they're female, you show it. If they're male, you don't, and that's it. So what they said here is um, if you don't want, uh, if you don't have any certain uh, conditions, you can use the if statement and then you just say it's read only or nothing. And that um, is a placeholder for false. So the first thing I want to show you is let's just look at this, come in here. Let's just take out this and just leave it like this. I mean, if this is true, then hide that field. Okay, so I'm going to first look at mail. And it does not hide like it should. So that's a problem. It, it's, a, it's a true false. I mean, it's an if statement. So it does need all three components of an if statement. You know, what is the condition? If it's true, then what do you do? If it's false, you must include that. So you can't just stop there. All right, so I'm going to come back in here uh, to the screening form. And come back in here and say, okay, and let's do this other thing with the comma and single quotes. Okay. This is just like what is shown in the example. here in there uh, in the documentation. So when I tested this and you'll see update and close editor and again we should only show if you're female. If I come to my record status dashboard and look at my screening form, there it is. So it does work if there's another at statement. So it, 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 it does work. However, I think that there, I mean, this has just been rolled out. It's only been in effect a few days. So I think that could already be a bug. And I just don't want you you know, having problems with this new feature just because the documentation may be um, bogus. So again, or, you know, not bogus, they just don't have this working right, I think. So if I put in an at statement, just leave default whatever and save it and look at it. Oh, well, let's see if I saved it right. Yeah, I did. Terry, I think it's because you have the closing parenthesis. Uh. No? Yeah, I do have to have them. Uh, comma, comma, at, at. I did find that one time I forgot the default. Let me just take this out. Your well, you have two. These are out of balance, Terry. You have two closing parentheses. Yeah, you have so two. You have three closing you get, parentheses. Get rid right. of the one after hidden. Oh, thanks. Forgot to remove that. Thank you. Uh huh.
second pair of eyes, second pair of eyes. All right, so let's go back here. I knew it was gonna work because I've already tried this. Like, see, it's gone now, just because I put that at thing in there. And if I look at Shauna's record, then, you know, it brings it up. So it works. Now, here's the other weird thing about this. Oh, nuance, I should say, not weird thing. So if I add a record and, uh, and we, Say, and notice nothing has happened. I selected female and, and you kind of would expect it to show up. So I'll say, well, the heck with this and save and exit the form and come back. There it is. So it only fires after you save. So this is a new feature. I would like to be able to show you uh, all the wonderful benefits of it and how you can use it in your project. At the moment, I haven't figured it out, but I can show you how it works. And then you can figure out how you can use it. Um, because you know I don't build as many projects as you people do. So that's how it works. And if you can figure out where you want to use it, go for it. They think it's a big deal. So it probably is.